Hi again. I think the video started. Oh, there we are. Hi again. Um, so I wanted to read another story because it's nighttime. And I used to read books at nighttime to you. To you two, you three. Um, and I just also want Ryder, you, and Levi, you also, to know I know you're not babies anymore. I call you babies because you're always going to be my babies. Oliver will always be my baby. Charlotte and Elizabeth will always be my babies, no matter how big you are. And I know you guys are getting so big, and I'm so proud of you. And all your hard work, and learning letters, and your name, and writing, and I can't even imagine all the things you must know at this point, being in school. And and so I'm so proud of you, and I just love you. And here, we can just read the mitten, if you want I'll read it, and if you want to tune in and watch, you can. Um, I don't know if we call it tuning in, but just, you can play the video. If Oliver will show you, or Charlotte can show you. Um, I love you guys. Anyways, here's the book we're going to read today. You see that? The Mitten. I don't know if you two know this story. I'm sure we've read it before. We had a book by Jan Brett. Um both illustrated and written by this woman, Jan Brett. Um, and it was not the mitten, but this is this is kind of the same. So let's let's read. And I hope you had an awesome day at school today. Um I would love love to give you big hugs and kisses and all of that and I will soon, okay? Oh, and this is a Ukrainian folk tale. Look at we hear a lot about the Ukraine these days and how much help they need. And so we'll dedicate this to all the people in Ukraine that could use our prayers and, and love and and just um, be thankful for for their country and for Jan Brett um, for writing this folktale um, adapted uh, and illustrated. By Jan. Okay, anyway, sorry. We're going to move on from the other page. There's the other page. And there's another page. Dedicated page. Somebody, so Jan wrote this book for these people. Let's see. It says, I'm trying to figure out how this game works. Okay. It says, for Sylvia, Kyle, Ruth, and Ruth Ann Johnson, Rebecca Lim, and Tad Beagley. I wonder who those children are. Or people. Hmm. Maybe they're chance children. Grown up. We'll see. Bella, there's a little boy ringing. Once there was a boy named Mickey who wanted his new mittens made from wool as white as snow. Can you see it? It's hard to look. Learn how to use the camera. There's lots of lots of pictures here. At first his grandmother Baba. Ooh, Baba. That's a funny grandma name. Your grandma's name is Mimi. This grandma's name is Baba. Baba did not want to knit white mittens. If you drop one in the snow, she warned, you'll never find it. How come? How come if we dropped a white mitten in the snow, would, would we not find it? Oh, probably because it's the same color as snow, and it would be hard to see. But Nikki wanted snow white mittens, and finally Baba made them. After she finished, she said, <clears throat> When you come home, first I will look to see if you are safe and sound. But then I will look to see if you still have your snow white mittens. So off Nicky went, and it wasn't long until one of his new mittens dropped in the snow and was left behind. Uh oh. What's Nicky doing? Where is he? There he is. He's climbing the tree. Hmm. Do you see his mitten in the snow? I see it. It's hard to find. It looks just like the snow. It blends right in. See it right there. Right there. A 
A mole, tired from tunneling along, discovered the mitten and burrowed inside. Oh, it was cozy and warm and just the right size, so he decided to stay. Where is he? Just seeing the little guy over here trying to get into the mitten. He says, Oh, that looks warm and cozy. If I was a little mole, I would run inside that mitten on a snowy day. A snowshoe rabbit came hopping by. He stopped. I'm having a hard time showing the camera and reading. He stopped for a moment to admire his winter coat. It was then that he saw the mitten, and he wiggled in feet first. Oh, the mole didn't think there was room for both of them, but when he saw the rabbit's big kickers, he moved over. Oh, silly rabbit. Look at that. It's, that looks warm. I want to come in too. Hey, look, it's like you and... It's like you, Ryder and Levi, both of you trying to share, right? I want to do it too. Oh, what's that? Who's that? Hmm. Next, a hedgehog came snuffling along, having spent the day looking under, le under wet leaves for things to eat. He decided to move into the mitten and warm himself. The mole and the rabbit were bumped and jostled, but not being ones to argue with someone covered with prickles, they made rum. Ouch. Hedgehogs have those prickles. They weren't gonna, they weren't gonna argue with him. They were just gonna move over. Silly hedgehog. Oh, there's, um, there's Nikki. And then over here, there's another picture. I wonder what this owl's up to. Hmm. Oh, that's a beautiful looking owl. Painting of it, isn't it? As soon as the hedgehog disappeared into the mitten, a big owl, attracted by the commotion, swooped down. When he decided to move in, also, the mole, the rabbit, and the hedgehog grumbled. But when they saw the owl's glinty talons, what are talons? They quickly let him in. I believe the talons are these claws. I think the owl's claws are called talons. Do either of you know that? Do you know what the talons are? I don't know that... They would be uh, very soft if we touched the talons. They might be pointy and sharp, which is how come everybody moved over for the big owl and made room in this tiny mitten. That mitten doesn't look so tiny anymore, does it? And there's Nikki just wandering around without his mittens, not even sure that one's lost. And look what's over here. There's <gasps> somebody poking out from under that tree. Well, not somebody, some creature, right? Some animal. It was some body. It would be a person, but... Oh, that's not a person. What is that? Up through the snow appeared a badger. He eyed the mitten and began to climb in. The mole, the rabbit, the hedgehog, and the owl were not pleased. There was no room left. But when they saw the diggers, they gave them the thumb. Ooh, what do you think those diggers are? I think they might be his claws that dig, dig, dig because he digs underneath the ground. They were not going to say no to that badger. Those diggers might might scratch them. And look at how big that mitten's getting. Those are silly creatures, huh? Ooh, there's Nicky still playing. He has no idea he lost his mitten. And Bobo was right. He would probably lose it, and she's waiting to see if he'll remember to bring both mittens back. What do you think? wonder if he'll find it. There's a fox. We have foxes here in the United States, just like they do in Ukraine. But 
apparently. Oh my goodness. <gasps> Silly fox. It started snowing, but the animals were snug in the mitten. A waft of warm steam rose in the air, and a fox trotting by stopped to investigate. Hmm. Just the sight of the cozy mitten made him feel drowsy. Feel drowsy is to be sleepy. The fox poked his muzzle in. When the mole, the rabbit, the hedgehog, the owl, and the badger saw his shiny teeth, they gave the fox lots of room. How did they give him room in such a tiny mitten? Not so tiny mark. It stretches a lot, I guess. Oh my goodness. <gasps> That's a bear. See that? What's that bear up to? Mm, let's see. Oh, look at Nikki. He's sliding down that little hill. Oh, <laughs> he slid over the bear's cave, I think. Maybe he woke him up. A great bear lumbered by. Look at the size of that big bear. He spied them in, all plumped up. Not being one to be left out in the cold, he began to nose his way in. The animals are packed in as tightly as could be, but what animal would argue with a bear? Would you argue with a bear? I wouldn't. Rolling bear gathers no hair. Oh, look at the little mousey. That's not, that's not so scary. That big bear is gone scary. Oh, there's Nikki looking around, sitting on a stump. He's having fun outside in the snow. Are we going to have snow soon? I hope so. This rain's no fun. The snow is much more fun. Along came a meadow mouse, no bigger than an acorn. Teeny tiny. Where is he? Oh! Look at, he's on the bear's nose. What's going to happen? She wriggled into the one space left and made herself comfortable on top of the crate bear's nose. Uh, Nikki is looking for the mitten. Mittens. There's a little mousey on the bear's nose. <gasps> Uh-oh. Nikki just realized he only had one mitten. He lost one. He has no idea where this mitten is. It's not even like a mitten anymore. What happened? animals stretched out. They made it their home. Uh-oh. What? Look at it. They all popped out. What do you think happened? Oh my goodness. All those silly animals. The bear, tickled by the mouse's whiskers, gave an enormous sneeze. The force of the sneeze shot the mitten up into the sky and scattered the animals in all directions. Oh my goodness. What's Nikki up to? He's looking for his mitten. But it's hard to find a white mitten in the white snow, just like Bubba said. She's waiting to make sure he brings back both mittens. Uh oh. See what happens. Oh, look at there's a mitten. It got shot up into the sky. It's floating in the air. Do you think Nikki sees it? On his way home, Nikki saw a white shape in the distance. It was the lost mitten silhouetted against the blue sky. Well, when it's up in the air and the blue sky is behind it, it's easy to see, right? Not when it's on the snow. Nikki found it at just the right time. As he ran to catch a snow white mitten, he saw Baba's face in the window. First, she looked to see if he was safe and sound. That's most important, that our children are safe and sound. And then she saw that he still had his new mittens. 
That's a good thing, right? Nikki got lucky. Oh, do you see Baba in the window? Okay. Right there. See? Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh, there is my Nikki, safe and sound. And he has both his mittens. What a good little boy. <laughs> Except what happened to the mitten. Baba's a little bit confused. Look how big it got. See that? There's the big mitten. It's ginormous. And then the little tiny, teeny, tiny one. Anyway, that's the end of that story. The end. I love you both. Have a wonderful night. Sleep good. Have a great day at school tomorrow.